Hey y'all, what's up? This is Jesse Boats from the 19th hole, and we're here playing the Labor Day Tournament. This is the Rookie Division with my low-level club account. We're going to try this shot with the Big Topper 1. See if it's a possible shot going up the middle in the, the Rookie. So let's see what we got here. I'll be going first. I'll be using a power 2 ball. 3.3 miles per hour. So let's see what we got. So we're going to line this one up right here at the edge of the fairway. Right about there. We're going to adjust this one right at about one ring. And we're going to have to put some curl on this one. We're going to get a perfect full top spin. And are we able to roll through? We are. So definitely um, a shot that is possible and doable with the Big Topper 1. Uh, probably should have put a little bit more curl on that one. Um, it's definitely a little bit tougher of a shot to take with the, the Big Topper 1 because there is no ball guide. Uh, you just really have to judge uh, and guess where that one's going to go, kind of, and just kind of have faith in the shot and the top spin. Um, if I had that one to do over, I would probably definitely do a little bit more left hand spin with the shot as well. Uh, we just went pretty much full top spin on that shot. As you notice here, we have the little gadget off to our left. This is the um, Golf Clash Notebook um, golf app, wind app, and it's a beta test right now. So we are uh, going to be using it on a few holes here for you all today. You can select the, the ball type you're going to use. You can change your elevation. Uh, you can select your club. And it's very easy to change your um, your wind. So we got 3.1 on this one. And we're going to be with our Viper. So let's see what we can do. We're going to be going with the wind bump, the, the rough bump here. And we're going to be right, pretty much right at uh, Max Club. So we're going to be doing, as according to our um, app, 1.6, so right about in there. Hit that one great left, so this one's going to be a little bit offline. But, uh, and he's going to forfeit the hole, so we get an eagle on that one. Alright, so that one looked like it was going to be a little bit offline, but it definitely looked like the, with the hop that we saw, it was going to be a, a decent um, runoff to the hole. So that's basically one way you can play this hole. If you don't want to play it up the middle with the big topper, you can play it to the left side with your extra mile. Uh, you can also try the shot to the right side with the quarterback and a lot of curl. Uh, definitely a way, I think, going to the right side is a little bit more dangerous in the rookie especially. So if you don't want to try the middle shot with a big topper, uh, definitely go left with your extra mile and definitely make sure to take your big dog uh, for your second shot to the green. So hopefully this has helped you all out and uh, given you a cool little quick look at the new um, Golf Clash Notebook wind guide. Uh, definitely a really cool device. Uh, one of the other features that you have in the guide are the ability to turn on the grids, which can help you line up the wind along the left and also kind of line up your shot uh, with the wind rings. It also comes with a built-in uh, landscape mode where you can go into landscape mode without having to use any kind of second hand uh, apps or anything like that. So all of that is built into the app uh, and it is currently in beta test right now but it will definitely be uh, available here to the public here in the near future. So that's some pretty cool features available on this app. Um, one other thing that I really like about it is if I click like on the the number for max, I can change I can change it with inside the app. So like, say I go out and I look at uh, a shot, and I say, well that shot looks like it's more like in between a min and a mid. Well, I don't want mid, I don't want min, but I can change my shot to in between min and mid, and as you see, it changes that number. See 1.4 for that shot. If I go all the way down to min, it changes it to 1.3. If I go all the way to max, 1.6. But this gives you the ability to change your shot to an in-between mid and max. I mean, min and mid or max and mid. 
which is pretty cool. If you don't want it, you just hit that little circle thing at the bottom and it resets. Uh, and the coolest thing about this is you look when I swipe up on the app, boom, minimized. All it shows you is the numbers for max, mid, and min. So definitely, you, you know, can get the, sh the app out of your way for your shot. Definitely a cool device and definitely one that we will be using a little bit more as we continue playing uh, in this tournament. So anyways, hole number one, Labor Day, par five. Figure out your route. Make sure you get yourself in line for that eagle. But definitely give yourself a chance that albatross is definitely my suggestion. Good luck to you all on the course. Have a good day.